Hi team. Yes, uh, uh, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to craft um your logo. So where we stop, in case you haven't watched the previous video, we did the color, the primary and the secondary color. Primary and secondary color. So primary and secondary color. So uh, I went and add a few two uh logo I already did for the tax business. So we're gonna create a brand new one together and I'm gonna walk you through that. And then after we're gonna upload some graphic and icon that you're gonna use. All right, let's do that. So when you go on the Canva, the home page, uh, click on this here more, or you can put logo here. So either way, I like to do it here. So, and select logo. So it would take you and a tank here. So templates, that's a blank template. We're gonna choose it. So type it, type it here the type of business that you train the logo for. So in my case is tax business. And hit enter. So it's gonna give me a few um a list of a bunch of them. Go through it and pick the one that you like. So this one is good, but the thing it it doesn't uh the name is H and D, so I don't think it's gonna look cute here. So I scroll through and I'm gonna select a few. Select as many, you can go deep in, but this is a beginner friendly. So don't spend too much time creating your logo yet, okay? So this would be good. Anything with a financial thing for me, but if you're doing another business, you can pick something else, so. So I went and add two of it that we're going to work through. So I'm going to show you how to just add it. So click on add page and then see the design here. So this one is the one that I pick as of my third design. So now we're going to work through those one okay so you're gonna change it we i'm gonna put so double click on the design and you're gonna be able to change the wording and that's it here Okay, the company, we're going to change it to service. Just we're here to make it bigger. So then um, this is what I like to do, like, because I like to change the color and stuff after. So I will make a copy and I will do duplicate here. So I'm going to have the original the way it is so I can make a comparison. So compare is compared to sometimes I speak a French. <laughs> so in this one, I'm going to try to use the brain kit that we just used that we got so let's see how the color is gonna mm, i don't like this one yeah yeah i prefer this one so brain kit click on brain kit and when you get there um mine is select it already selected the thing so which you can just use the name that you put in selected so um then let me try the third um, I think if this would do the bag white, let's see if I can put that as a white. 
Okay, click here. Click on the bag. Click on the color here. Let me make it go. Wait, let's select white. Mm. Yes, I like this one. So feel free to make a several variation. Um, so this one, let's change this. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. This this now. Go back. No, I meant to make a copy of the original one. And let's try to change the color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this one better. And see, I'm just doing. See, this one will be good if we can make the bag. Okay, let me put the bag white and see, should be. Um... Let's try to see if we're going to change it. Mm. Okay, this is so much light. Okay, so this is not going to do that. So those are so far what we got, okay? So let's work on the other, this one, Um, this is we just double click this is the edge oh this is the edge already so what are we gonna do um we cannot oh we cannot have it the way that they did it because it's not gonna um let's see let's see if I can find an element yeah so you guys think I think that's nice, so like this. Let's do that, yeah. So we put tax here. I believe that service will be on the same line is better. And we're gonna stretch this so that it is fit the balls. So, and then here we can just put a uh, Establish since twenty twenty nineteen, something like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a copy and try to play with the color. Let's go to Brain Kids. Let's see. What he's gonna give to us? Mm. Not really. Here is not giving us so much of uh, variation. So <laughs> again, I can play around and do way more, but uh, for time's sake, I'm not going to bother about this one. Anyway, this brand, this uh, thing, I love it. I like it more. So I can do here too. I can stretch it. So just 
bien fait à un moment donné. Mais bien. So I have my uh, design, so let's see just, uh, I'm gonna put a name. Good logo. And this one will be blue logo. All right, I went and named all of them. So now we're gonna go, we're gonna download it on the computer or tablet, whatever you're working on. After downloading, we're gonna go back in the brain kit and then put those uh, logo. So go on share app there and select download. Okay, click on download. Then it's gonna give you option. Uh, you can change those things, but I prefer to do PNG as they suggested. So compressed file flow, uh, transparent background. I prefer to select that because some the logo is gonna be okay. I just saw uh, a lot of stuff that I gotta fix here. Okay, make sure when you're doing it, make sure you fix all the error and everything. So we're gonna go back, download, click on downloads, and we're gonna select transparent background because we need those things. So here, that is two trick. You can um, download them one by one. So it's not gonna um, put this as a zip a file on your computer. So it's going to be easy, but if you download all of them together, it's going to put it, you're going to see what I'm talking about. So we're going to let Canva do this thing. All right, you see? And here, I forgot to change the name. I thought I changed the name, H and D, back service. Logos, so, but we did it already. So here, I'm gonna go to my computer file, select the downloads. I'm in the download, so you see, in good, that was the name. So when you double click on it, it opened the file so I can see all my logos in here. So to this from here, you cannot use it. You have to, because it was a zip file. So you have to extract it. So you're going to select here, extract all. And it's going to give you option to create a new Think, go ahead and do that if you want. But here, I'm going to just keep the same thing. The same. So it's going to go in the same file that you see in the download. My computer is a little bit slow. Select folder. What are you doing? Yeah. Select is the same. So extract. So it's the winning. Now we got it. So whenever you go to your download the thing, you're going to see all the folder there. So now that we got all, so let's go back to Canva. So we are in Canva. We will go back to where we open our blanket. I usually will open two or three pages. So that. so it, it'd be easier to navigate between the two so let's go here is the logo so we're gonna click on add a new 
upload logo. Click on that. Take me to my computer. So I'll go to that file that doesn't have the zip. So double click on it. You see, you see all the logos. So I'm going to upload them one by one. Let me see if we can do it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Canva is smart. <laughs> All right, so ta-da, you got all your logos. So whenever he's creating a design, we're going to do that and shortly. So now we're going to talk about this part down here, how to add a graphic and an icon. And in case you're like, I mean, you wanted to need all this. No, when you have your brain kids, so when you or whenever you do doing your design, like a flyer, your website, um, your business card, you're going to have those, these graphic and icon handy. Okay. So here for the graphic, we're going to go to our friend, chat GPT is our best friend. So what I did is like, I put in a prompt asking chat GPT, give me a list of graphic and icon I need to use when creating content like Quote, flyer, business card, website for a tax business. Okay. So I did not add because I was working the same thing up before I did the, the color for the brain kit. So chat GPT. But if it's a brand new uh, page and stuff, food search, you can add for brand, brand kit on Canva. So chat GPT give us a uh, few icons. So we're going to add a few of those. I'm not going to add all of them while I'm in the training. So the video won't be. So we're going to do the calculator icon and the dollar sign and document checklist. So we're going to copy, highlight and copy, control C and go to Canva. oh no listen so now we're gonna click here on design believe i went and add uh two elements so you can see it so now we're gonna i'm gonna show you how uh you can create one you can do one so when you go on canva just uh select my computer is slow today i don't know why just uh select any type of element i'm gonna just go and uh just do blank one go on more oh no here, um, I will just go for Instagram, Square, or go with anything, you know. So let's do Facebook post, okay? You just need a blank of doc, uh, stuff that we design it. So when we come to the page, uh, just go click on Elements. And we're going to go to chat GPT. And select the one um, checklist, one of the icon. Selected, copy, and go back to Canva. And then we're going to put that here. Hit enter. So you can have a list. Select the one that you want here. Okay, so remember you're doing this based on what um Chat GPT will tell you for your type of business. So for her braiding, maybe it's not gonna tell you checklist or for icon uh checklist icon. So we working on the tax of business. So 
I'm going to go ahead and select this one with the color. So keep it big or don't make it small. Keep it big. So then after when you're using it in a design, you can put it reduce or make it bigger because if you do the small that's the biggest size that you're going to be able to use it on your design so keep it to big enough and then we're going to choose um a shape like a rectangle select that so when you give you a rectangle go to the color thing up here and select on no color so you see it's a no color so now select both of the shape together and do right click on the shape and you go down at the bottom download selection okay so it's gonna give you the option to do it a png don't do that select go to svg and then select transparent background because if you don't, it's going to keep the background, um, anything that is above the little uh, check and the crayon thing, pencil thing, it's going to be white. And so when you design it, it's annoying when you add in. So you might, you want to do transparent background. So, and select download. Okay. So it's going to download on your computer. Let's go and do a second one. So you can do it in the same document and stuff. So let's uh, uh, select house or property icon. Let's do that. So this go the same way that you're going to do the, the one for the graphic part. Uh -uh. It's trying to do that here. So I'm gonna over delete this. So you see, so we use since we're talking about tax, we can do this one. And let's do this one. You can do several variations. So I'm going to keep this one on the side here while I am put this one big. And I'm going to close it here so I can have access to the square. Put it in the middle. Put your square the way that it's going to be inside that design. So go ahead and select both together and do like this. Now, no selection. So the reason why we do SVG is that in that case for the one that I got a color. So when you design it, see it, it keep the same color. But this one, it doesn't really matter because it's black and white. Don't forget to do transparent background and go ahead and download it. So let's uh to show you what I meant. Uh let me do also property and try to see if I find a color for one. There you go. Okay, here, this one. So let's delete this one. So this one, I'm going to make it small. Now that I save it, I might go ahead and delete it. So this one can have uh, all the room that it need. Add it, change the color. And then now I'm going to select the both together. So if he, oh, no. When you select. Oh, I got two shapes here. Oh. It doesn't matter if you got a three selected. It's, it's fine. Okay. So now right click, downloads. Then if we select in PNG, it's going to keep just this color. So after when we're using it in a design, we're not going to be able to change the color. But that's why we go ahead and save it in SVG, transparent background, and download. You're going to see what I'm talking about, okay? Now that we download those things, let's go back to our brain kit and add those uh things. So here I'm in the brain kit. So let me click on add upload 
So it's going to take me on my computer where I keep the upload stuff. So all of this. So you can, um, those are the houses. So I select three together and click on open and you're gonna see it's gonna add it here. So it add all of them. So feel free, like the icon, you can add them here as a graphic too. It doesn't matter. Okay. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm. Okay, there was a problem. All right, let's do one by one. Um, it is a problem. I got to fix that first. Okay, so I wasn't able to do download the others, but uh, you see it added this one and those two added them. So I'm going to show you what I meant when I say when you're designing, um, how you can use it. So we're going to uh, create a new one. Go to create a design, click on create design. And this time, let's do Instagram post. When we do that, so Instagram post, let's do that business. It's going to give us a few stuff. So that's a flyer that's, uh, is giving us. Also, let's say, let's do, we're going to do, we want to do this right here. So we click on it. So now I want to, this is blend. I want to add some hue graphics. So I click on my brand kits. And you see, when you select the brand kits, that attacks and more. So I can add a list out of the piggy bank. You see, so the background is transparent so whatever is color is in the background but if we did not do it that way transparent it would be this part would be white around and it would be off here so but we got that and you see we still got the color the color option so we can go ahead let's just play it on and use our color brain color see even though i don't like it so let's go back I prefer my piggy pink. Let's do it again. See? So that's why you need a color brand color. And we can add, so instead of, you're going to have those things handy. I can just do that here. And put it as transparent as possible. See? So you can play around and you can have it in your brain uh, kit there. But other thing that you can do, you can add a picture here, same process, go back. You add, uh, upload here, the picture that you have already uploaded. So you can put it in your brain here. Like if per se it is a picture of me uh, or the business owner that you like to put it in or picture of the business. Uh, you can add it here so instead of going but other way to add those on um, thing here is you go here and put those name any of those name piggy bank um let's change for let's say document checklist here so you can see you can have all of them and they give even give you like um the AI tool within Canva. Yeah, so you can add it all, like, you know, there's a bunch of here, but one, the few that speak to you, those are the ones that you're going to download the input in your brain kit, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed it, tutorial and it helped you uh, brand your business on social media and do a website. So, 
if you like this just sh uh, please share it post it in groups and wherever you are so we can touch more small business owner life so people can grow their business all right until next time keep the hustle on